welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel to provide some updates on what I feel like is one of the most attractive ground floor investing opportunities made possible through Aduro Clean Technologies. Now, before we get into just a quick update on the company, I want to premise this message in understanding this. Um, I'm a share owner in the company. The share blocks are disclosed in the description below uh, for your viewing pleasure. Um, this is not meant to uh, persuade you in any one uh, direction or the other to either buy or not to buy the stock. That is not the intention here. The intention is to update you on progress that has been made by AduroClean Technologies over the last 10 years and on what I feel is a precipice of a value re-rate in the company and a market that is dismissing most of those companies in the microcap space, which the majority of which would have difficulty having access to capital. Aduro has just done uh, some significant funding raises and sits on a war chest of capital uh, to make sure that they can follow through on their projected path toward pre-commercialization and eventual commercialization over the coming couple of years. Aduro is not an over uh, overnight uh, company. It is one of those companies that needs to have time awarded to it so it can leverage its opportunity, um, its current uh, collaboration with the industry that is looking to serve. And it needs to have that opportunity to evolve through its customer engagements through its planning processes of bringing R3, its reactor, uh, batch reactor, pre-commercial stage reactor on the line. Uh, and eventually it's R4 uh, as it will be the critical piece to augmenting with, with industry. Now you say that's all great, Ryan, that's all wonderful, but, but why Aduro? Why is the Aduro story going to be different than any other fly by the night, opportunity of a lifetime, millionaire maker stock that has come before and has failed to deliver on its promises. Those are all very valid points. I, I would like to, in 2023, define a landscape for would-be investors to understand that the access to information is significantly different than it was just five years ago. 10 years ago, would-be investors in a company like this would have never had the opportunity to touch this company like they do here in 2023. Current share makeup of Aduro Clean Technology is made up of a very tight share float, half of which is owned by upper management. So the remaining 50% is open for uh, public disbursement. And it is safe to say that the current management in the $50 million that has gone into this project over the last decade of developing this novel technology to where it is now would safely suggest that the management and the share owners in this company are aligned perfectly together. The promises made in 2022 with regard to milestones that were uh, set out on and achieved uh, are noted and in the books. New roadmaps for success as we evolve this story going forward have also been set. Uh, I have visited the facility in person, that of which I will share the insights to my site visit, was able to actually put my eyes on some of the technology was able to visit the laboratory, was able to uh, converse with chief scientist, Mr. Anil Javoir, who in my best assessment is a critical piece to this, um, as well as the uh, the founder and CEO, Mr. Ofer Vikas, as well as Mr. Trigstant, uh, who is uh, in uh, a, a co-founding role with uh, Mr. Vikas in bringing this novel technology to where we are now. Where are we now? Adurently, Aduro currently sports a stock price of 67 cents. It has been on that mark, give or take a few cents for the last six months. Aduro has not moved. Seeing peers in the industry, such as PureCycle, 
which has increased its market cap by double uh, up over a billion dollars in market cap, adding hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars of market cap over the, that same time period. Fraught with debt, uh, establishing, yes, facilities to engage in their technology to create their pellet or byproduct of um, a, a, a substance that is rendered by their um, uh, recycling methods. But the high cost to get to that point uh, only to be acknowledged that Pure Cycle doesn't make revenue either. Now, Aduro has just put a, a small, inconsequential amount of revenue on the books here with one of their other verticals in the tune of around 59000 which is impressive in and of itself, but not material when we are talking about a company that trades at an anemic $45 million of market cap very undervalued when compared to peers and very undervalued when talking about book value compared to itself. And it's the latter that I look to bring to your attention in way of the eight patents that Aduro owns, seven of which are issued. One is in pending status at present. The technology is novel in nature, and a, don't take it from me, take it from the third party validation that was completed by Aduro, um, and the results were staggering. In that Aduro's technology specifically addresses a massive pain point in the plastic recycling industry, in that over 80% of the plastics that are produced in today's economy go unrecycled and end up in our oceans and our landfills. I want you to think about that for a moment. At present, in 2023, we are faced with a current plastic problem that would suggest that 80% of all of the plastics that are produced end up in either the landfill or our oceans. Why? Why is that? We all do our parts in our households to make sure that our plastic goods are separated and they enter they enter into the green plastic bin with the circular diamond on it or the circular triangle that shows that we are doing what we need to do as a people to contribute to or lessen the impact that we have on the earth. The reality just does not stack up against the perception that we are making a difference. We are not. Uh, and the results are staggering in that we are marching toward a 2050 that will see us producing in excess of 1 billion, I repeat, 1 billion tons of plastic waste going forward as we approach that 2050 deadline. At present, in 2023, we are currently turning out over 300 million tons of plastic, again, 80% of which cannot be recycled using traditional means of recycling. Something has got to change. And companies like Aduro Clean Technology and some of the others in the space are working on providing those solutions and bringing those solutions to commercial viability as we speak. Now, as it relates to Aduro Clean Technology, some of those companies have seen their stock price skyrocket and their valuations balloon to valuations of up over a billion, a billion and a half dollars, while, while Aduro's market cap is seemingly acting as if it is still undiscovered. And I believe it is the latter condition that I will award to Aduro Clean Technology. Now, all the while, I calmly invest as a ground floor investor in a company that I know only needs time. And I, as a would-be investor, am willing to put in that time to devote to seeing the evolution of this company come to fruition over the next coming couple of years. Now, if you want more clarity around this time frame and how Aduro is actually going to make money licensing their technology to some of the major players out there in the space, you'll want to visit adurocleantech.com. Check out their investor presentation and slide deck, which elegantly walks you through the potential 50% gross margins on the licensing model that Aduro has uh, um, projected 
uh, out to 2027, the reoccurring revenue that will come from those licenses and the benefits to pay back to their licensees uh, over the course of around five to six years. The technology is that good to where the payback of deploying the um, the uh, technology in their operations is such that the technology will be free and clear uh, over a five to six year payback period where both parties, Aduro and the licensee, uh, actually um, uh, benefit from that relationship. And then depending on the volume that is assessed and the success of those reactors, then the duplication of those reactors in each of the respective properties can take hold. And then the reoccurring revenue can increase from there. I, I remain calm on that because this isn't aimed at hyping a stock. However, what I just explained to you with regard to the gross margins and the licensing model that Aduro has put forward and the existing relationships that they already have with some of the who's who in the industry, most notably Shell Oil with the acceptance of Aduro Clean Technology into Shell Oil's Game Changer program. They've been in the program for eight or nine months, that of which Aduro has received zero credit for in way of stock appreciation. Again, I think the cross-current of really knocking down those companies that are perceived to be smaller in nature, i.e. companies that are small that will have problems having access to capital. If you look at Aduro, their ability to raise funds has never been a problem. And Aduro sits on a cash position right now with their current cash burn that would put them well capitalized into the future to see their roadmap going forward. Now, it's difficult sometimes to really portray to people to look forward three or four years. So where are we at present? Aduro currently has just finalized both of its heavy oil reactor as well as its plastic recycling reactors uh, uh, named R2. Their reactors are sequentially named, so we understand that the next phase, R3, will be their pre-commercial unit and then eventually their commercial units R4 and R5 to be duplicated across the industry. Once those commercial uh, evolutions and steps and, and work through processes are complete, then they can engage on uh, in enacting those reactors at their respectively chosen uh, locations globally. And then Aduro can start to assess, you know, which customers are going to need to increase that volume as appropriate. But right now, the R2 is a monumental achievement for the company in allowing them to take their technology and put it right in the, um, the face of the customers through customer engagements that they serve. The reactor is meant to demonstrate on a continuous flow basis how the technology third-party verified actually works and what types of renderings to expect on the back end, what type of tweaking can happen on the input side, on the processing side, as well as the final product side. Aduro boasts the ability to fine-tune the chemistry um, with the feedstock that's coming in of lower value and then to produce a product of higher value on the back end. What does all that mean, Ryan? What it means is Aduro actually stands to benefit from taking lower value feedstock and actually producing in the context of a circular economy a more viable and a more lucrative product on the back end by taking placed plastic that just would have inevitably ended up in our oceans or landfills and being able to put that into the circular economy, which we all know is vital to solving the plastic problem and producing a, 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 a much more valuable product in the back end. And if you stop to think about the value proposition there, that is served by an Aduro uh, clean technology, you start to look at the real key to this whole equation. And, and that is the novel hydrochemolytic uh, technology that is put over this plastic recycling process. The idea that Aduro differentiates from the rest of the industry and them 
is that the them in the plastic recycling space has traditionally looked to uh, demolish or 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 destroy the molecular makeup of the plastic that by nature of the long hydrocarbon chain has been very very difficult historically to actually de to, to 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 recycle and those are the traditional means typically needing high heat high energy which in turn equates to high cost of input on the energy side to actually produce a usable product and in a lot of cases it is a product that is less valuable on the back end. Aduro takes a novel and different approach to it. It is a low heat input um, with very little byproduct with over 90% of the actual input uh, of their product that's actually salvaged on the back end. Now, Pure Cycle cannot boast that. Pure Cycle almost loses half of the input of their feedstock and the usable product that they can produce on the back end, where the waste material is made up, where it is uh, uh, realized in the processing chain is yet to be determined. I have no idea how they lose 50% uh, in their process, but the, the real lesson for would-be investors looking at the space is to identify with that technology that can salvage the most on the input side because feedstock producers are going to want to produce as much feedstock as they can to render as much on the back end that they can in not only usable product, but in Aduro's case, maybe even more valuable product to be rendered on the back end. So Aduro sports a technology that does not destroy the molecule and then try to rebuild it or allow the compound to rebuild itself in unfavorable ways. Aduro boasts the ability to smartly deconstruct the molecule and then build the molecule back the way that it is going to be the most advantageous on the back end. That is the hydrochemolytic benefit in and of itself. And just in summary, it works on all three. Hydrochemolytic uh, uh, works on all three of the most difficult plastics traditionally in the space, polyethylene, polypropylene, and polystyrene. Those are the 80% that typically will be, by nature of inefficiencies in traditional means, discarded, shipped overseas to third world countries only to end up in our, our oceans and our landfills. The ability to take that large swath can not only allow us to deal with the backlog of feedstock that we have now on the books, but also to curtail and to offer some of the mandates that are be, going to be coming online as early as 2025 for plastic producers to ensure a, a circular introduction of the plastic. In other words, a cradle to grave type of mentality that before that plastic is turned out into the economy that they are looking to serve, that it will render itself available to be accepted back into the circular economy when that plastic has run its use case. Aduro ensures that that circular economy is maintained for plastic producers. So in summary, Aduro, as it sits right now at a $45 million market cap, compared to its own internal intrinsic value, take one metric in that its IP currently now, by nature of not only my admission, but the CEO's admission to the value over the IP itself at $300 million is extremely undervalued, not only price to itself, but price to peers in the industry, in the plastic uh, producing space. Now, the value over the IP is if I were to go to Mr. Vicus and say, I want to buy the, the IP, here's $300 million, I would get the IP. That is not to speak to the potential over that IP. There is being given no forward credit for value. There is being given no forward credit to a Duro for relationships garnered. There is be being given no forward value on the funding and the ability of a Duro to see its proprietary uh, technology evolve through this 
process of R2, R3, pre-commercial and commercial viability, it is being given no value to realize the licensing model that is so attractive to investors and companies that are looking to sh leverage their technology, realize the high gross margins in conjunction with their licensee to earn money smartly, not only on the onset, but also reoccurring revenue. And in Enduro's case, I would suggest that their improved compounding revenues are going to be incredible once they start to solidify a few of these uh, long-term customers and they start to expand out their potential to match their actual output of production from some of these major plastic producers. Make no mistake about it, guys. The uh, investor landscape right now is fraught with fear in the market. There is being given no forward acknowledgement to the potential of these companies right now, like Aduro, who stand apart from the rest of the field in that they are well capitalized to see their timeline going forward and the evolution of that time uh, timeline see itself through to the 2027 uh, timeframe where we're actually really starting to accelerate uh, revenue out there. So in closing, I would just like to bring your attention to the website, adurocleantech.com. Visit the investor slide deck that they have on there that talks about uh, this and many other things that I discussed in what makes Aduro Clean Technology a revolutionary ground floor investment that nobody is talking about. Their volumes per day speak to that. Their access on many of the major brokers here in the US speak to that in that they are only available on a few select brokers. I will share those brokers that I know Aduro is available for on uh, in the description below. I was able to pick up my shares on interactive brokers. I know there's been some success on picking some shares up on TD Ameritrade as well as Fidelity, as well as a couple of others. But there's a few other major brokers that just discount this company as just being another OTC company. And this being an OTC QB is certainly a cut above and certainly has just come to public awareness as of late, but it really has had an undertone of investment and development over the last decade. And we are the beneficiaries of that message now as we start to see this remaining path to profitability, path to commercialization, and this six month window that I feel like is an absolute gift for anybody who comes across and finds this message on a company that I believe is absolutely in that category of ground floor investing. It does not get any better than this. I will repeat, Aduro is in a ground floor investing phase right now. And my friends, we are looking at an inevitable re-rate when these catalysts collide with each other and the multi-tier portfolio and product suite that Aduro brings to bear with their hydrochemolytic technology is actually discovered in the marketplace. Like I said, 10 years ago, you would have never had the opportunity to be introduced to a company like this. I'm providing that opportunity for you and invite you to do up your own due diligence on Aduro Clean Technology, seek out the information on the website and start to follow this company. I will continue to roll out updates as they are made available to me. I appreciate you guys tuning in for the totality of this video. If you enjoy the content coming through, I'd ask you to subscribe to the channel, leave your comments at the bottom of this video. And thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of this video and good luck in your investment future.